Hey guys, what's up? Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Moyu Magnetic Skew. It's been quite a while since a new skew has been released, but recently three new skews were released at around the same time, from Kong's Design, Chi Yi, and Moyu. The new Moyu Skew is the second skew released by Moyu, and is the first to implement magnets in the design rather than ball bearings, and this has had some interesting effects on the cube which we'll go over in a bit. Getting the specs of this cube out of the way, this cube measures in at 55mm across and weighs 86 grams, making it lighter than most other cubes. Additionally, it's $14 at thecubicle.us, and while I got the stickerless version, the black and white plastic models both come with standard MoU shades. The turning of this cube is really interesting. Most, if not all, skews, such as the Shangshou, Chi Yi, and original Moyu, use ball bearings to help the cube click into place at the end of each turn. However, the Moyu Magnetic Skew, as the name suggests, uses magnets instead. This definitely makes the cube have a different feeling than the original Moyu, Chi Yi, and Shangshou skews. Rather than having a harsh click at the end of each turn from the ball bearing falling into place, the cube instead just slows down towards the end of each turn. For me, this is extremely helpful, as it has allowed me to turn much faster while still maintaining a certain level of controllability. My TPS has increased considerably when using this cube, and so far it has locked up quite a bit less than the previous Milieu skew. Unfortunately, I have had a few problems with this skew. First, it's been pretty difficult to find the right tensions. Certain tensions will allow this cube to turn incredibly well with no lockups at all, but popping is pretty frequent. I had my cube set on fairly loose tensions at my last competition, and I got two pops during official solves, ruining both of my averages. So of course, I tried tightening it to fix this problem, and even though it fixed the popping problem, I started getting some lockups and I wasn't enjoying the turning nearly as much, so I loosened it up a bit again. It took a bit of adjusting, but after a while I finally managed to find some decent tensions. The turning isn't quite as nice as it was with super loose tensions, but at least pops aren't as big of a problem. The second problem is that I found this cube to be slightly more prone to getting a plus two than other cubes with ball bearings. This happened once or twice in my last comp, which also helped ruin my averages. This could absolutely just be my fault, and it might fix itself as I get used to the cube even more. Besides, it's really not that big of a problem, I just want to quickly mention it. I've basically been going over this the entire review, but this cube does perform really well in solves. Within a day of having this cube, I got a 3.56 average of 50 and a 3.67 average of 100, both of which were my PVs, which is crazy because that was the first time I had done a skew session in over a month. So I definitely recommend picking this cube up if you haven't already. In my opinion, it's the best cube out on the market and I think it could definitely help many people improve. Anyway, that's it for this review of the new Moyu Magnetic Skew. If you'd like to buy this cube, the link is in the description as always. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!